good morning students today we discuss about genistein genistein is a naturally occurring compound that structurally belongs to a class of compounds known as isoflavonoids genistein is a naturally occurring compound that structurally belongs to a class of compounds known as isoflavones it was first isolated in 1899 it was first isolated in 1899 the compound structure was established in 1926 when it was found to be identical with that of prurnitol the compound structure was established in 1926 when it was found to be identical with that of prurnitol compound it was chemically synthesized in 1928 it was chemically synthesized in 1928 okay this is the structure of genistein in this structure three hydroxy groups are presented in this structure 4 dash 5 and 7 positions containing hydroxy groups in this structure 4 dash 5 and 7 positions containing hydroxy groups and also this structure containing c double bond o group so this is also called as 4 dash 5 7 trihydroxy isoflavone genistein is also called as 4 dash 57 trihydroxy isoflavone okay genistein is the one of the important isoflavonoid genistein is the one of the important isoflavonoid it is isolated from genista tinctoria it is isolated from genista tinctoria it belongs to fabacea family plant genistein belongs to fabacea family plant okay now we discuss about the structural elucidation of genistein structural elucidation of genistein molecular formula of genistein is c15 h10 o5 molecular formula of genistein is c15 h10o5 it is saturated compound because it does not decolorize the color of kmno4 solution and bromine water solution so it is taken as saturated compound genistein does not decolorize the color of kmno4 solution and also does not decolorize the color of bromine water so genistein is taken as saturated compound its melting point value is 215 to 217 degree centigrade genistein melting point value is 215 to 217 degrees centigrade genistein undergo acetylation or methylation reactions in these reactions it gives triacetyl derivative or trimethyl derivative these reactions indicates three hydroxy groups are presented in genistein okay 
generally acetylation reactions or methylation reactions are used to identify hydroxy groups generally acetylation or methylation reactions are used to identify hydroxy groups so genistein is treated with acetic anhydride it gives triacetylated derivative from this reaction genistein containing three hydroxy groups okay genistein undergo acetylation or methylation reactions in these reactions it gives genistein gives triacetyl derivative or trimethyl derivative these reactions indicates three hydroxy groups are present in genistein okay genistein gives positive test with solubility of naoh genistein gives positive test with solubility of naoh that means genistein soluble in naoh solution and also it gives coloration reaction with neutral ferric chloride genistein gives coloration reaction with neutral ferric chloride these reactions indicates phenolic hydroxy groups are present in genistein these reactions indicates phenolic hydroxy groups are present in genistein acetylation or methylation reactions indicates genistein containing hydroxy groups acetylation or methylation reactions uh, indicated genistein containing hydroxy groups these hydroxy groups belongs to phenolic hydroxy groups okay there is no methoxy groups because it does not react with hydrogen iodide genistein does not containing methoxy groups because it does not react with hydrogen iodide genistein does not undergo gisel method test so genistein does not containing methoxy groups okay genistein undergo fusion with koh it gives fluoroglucinol and para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid genistein undergo fusion with koh it gives fluoroglucinol and para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid formula of genistein is molecular formula of genistein is c15 h10o5 this genistein undergoes fusion with koh it gives two products first one is fluoroglucinol and second one is para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid another one genistein on hydrolysis with ethyl alcohol and mild koh solution genistein on hydrolysis with ethyl alcohol and mild koh solution it gives formic acid and 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone genistein on hydrolysis with ethyl alcohol and mild koh solution it gives formic acid and 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone this 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone is further treated with koh solution it undergoes degradation it gives fluoroglucinol and para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid this 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone is treated with excess koh solution it gives fluoroglucinol 
and para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid okay we take genistein this genistein is treated with KOH mild KOH and ethyl alcohol solution genistein is treated with ethyl alcohol and mild KOH solution formic acid and 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone is formed this 246 trihydroxy phenyl para hydroxy benzyl ketone is again treated with excess KOH solution it gives two products first one is fluoroglucinol and second one is para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid it gives two products first one is fluoroglucinol and second one is para hydroxy phenyl acetic acid from these reactions finally this structure is proposed to genistein from these reactions finally this structure is proposed to genistein okay assignment write the structural elucidation of genistein write the structural elucidation of genistein in the next class we will discuss about the synthesis of genistein in the next class we will discuss about the synthesis of genistein thank you